What's up guys, Dave here from Walling Solutions and in this video I want to discuss a little bit about Andrew Tate being released on house arrest and if you stick to the end of this video I'm also going to share with you my personal opinion on this decision but also answer the question now that they've been released on house arrest are they going to try to escape the country? At least I will share with you my personal opinion on that matter. Let's get right into it. But before we start this video I just wanted to make a quick disclaimer I'm not a journalist and I'm not a reporter. This is not about me liking Tate Brothers or not. This is about me sharing my personal opinion on the subject based on the experience and the information that I have. If you don't agree with my opinion, that's perfectly fine. Nobody forces you to watch my content. I own an international degree in law, but I'm not practicing the law in Romania. That being said, let's get back to our video. So guys, we all know that Andrew Tate, his brother Tristan, alongside two Romanian women, have been detained in Romania for the last three months. That's January, February and March. They've been actually arrested back in December, if you remember correctly, on 29th, if I'm not mistaken. And since then, we witnessed at least four arrest extensions. Now, we all know by now that they can keep them under arrest during the investigation face for a total number of 180 days so if they wouldn't been released on house arrest they could have kept them for a maximum of two more arrest extension which equals like maximum of 60 days now here's where it gets interesting i will be completely honest with you i didn't expect this decision from the judge and i want to acknowledge the fact that i was mistaken and that i was wrong in regards to my last prediction that i made during my last video so i'm sorry for that guys but you can't nail it all the time but if you watch my video you'll see that i've been spot on in terms of the prediction so far i think this is the first prediction that i'm missing and that's perfectly fine i will try to do my best not to make so much predictions because I see that there's a lot of polarizing opinions on the matter and so I think the best way to go about it is to just give you the options and just to educate you in regards to what can happen next and then you can make your own predictions but to get back to my point I think here's where it gets interesting right now they have been released on house arrest which means that for the next 30 days they are going to stay under house arrest and they are not allowed to leave the house there are some circumstances in which they are allowed to leave the house but they will always have to notify the authorities in regards to those times where they are going to leave the house however the law states very clearly that even though the house arrest is a form of arrest on itself the total number of days that they can be kept under house arrest it's equals 180 days and here's the thing it does not count to the maximum number of days that they can be kept under arrest during the investigation phase that being said based on the Romanian law from this moment they can still keep them under house arrest for the next 180 days which is crazy if you think about it so now comes the question is this a move made by the prosecutor in order to keep them detained for a longer period of time because just think about it for a second house arrest prison arrest yes you could argue that the house arrest is definitely better than the prison arrest but it's still a form of detainment right so you are still not allowed to leave your house you still have lots of restrictions for example you are not allowed to discuss with any of the victims or any of the witnesses that are involved in the case you are not allowed to discuss with third parties about the case and just some other general restrictions that you already know about so i think this might be a play actually so in my opinion there are two options for this it's either the fact that the prosecutor hasn't been able to bring further evidence in the case and that's the reason why the judge said okay look you didn't bring anything new we can't just keep them under arrest for that long we need to at least keep them under house arrest since you didn't provide any further evidence and i think that might be the case or option number two it was already planned so they can keep them detained for a longer period of time now let's discuss a little bit about what can happen next well in my opinion i think the prosecutor will try to push move the case to the trial and they are going to be charged very soon how soon if you ask me personally i think this can happen in the next 60 days but don't quote me on that i'm just trying to think what would be the best move for the prosecutor right now so obviously after this 30 days house arrest extension will expire the prosecutor will go forward to the judge once again and he will uh, propose one of the following security measures either bring them under arrest for another 30 days either extend the house arrest extension for another 30 days or lastly give them pre-trial conditional release which implies that they won't be able to leave the country they are allowed to leave the house but they will have to go once or twice per week i don't remember exactly to sign some documents at the police station that they can make sure that they didn't leave the country i also want to discuss a little bit about andrew tate and his brother and what i think about them now that i seen the public statement after they've been released to be honest with you i think that andrew changed a lot and believe it or not I think that this detention has transformed him in a better person. At least that's what I've been analyzing based on the public statement and based on his behavior. So I think that those three months of isolation away from cell phone, away from laptop, away from the internet and just him being by himself and tied in with the fact that he's now a Muslim, I think really had a great impact in terms of the person that he has become. Here's what I think guys. I think that he had the power, he had the money, he had the influence, but maybe his way of doing things weren't so religious before. But now with the experience that he had in prison, I think we are going to see a shift in his personality a shift in his mentality and overall him using his fame his money and his influence to do more good than bad or i might be wrong and he's going to try to leave the country now of course i'm joking on that now let's discuss a little bit about this do i think that now that they've been set free under house arrest are they going to try to escape the country and here's my personal opinion i do not think that they are going to escape the country because they have money they have fame they have everything and based on their personality i don't think that they would like to just live a fugitive life and uh, just try to hide for the rest of their lives even if they get to dubai or whatever other country just 
just knowing that you have all of this money and all of this fame and everything and you are still a fugitive and the police is chasing you all over the world i don't think it's something that they want to experience but of course only the time will tell and i might be wrong on that as well that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe so you can stay updated in regards to future content and if you haven't already make sure you watch this video where i go over the five advantages of registering your business in dubai thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye